Uh, but let's let's talk Triple Mania. You, you and you had a you had a, a big long weekend. The show was was fantastic, I thought. Uh, and uh, shout out to uh, Lucha Blog for uh, there was there was sixteen thousand people watching on that Twitch channel at one point uh, when I was watching. So a, a few of us got to see uh, got to see the show we wouldn't have otherwise been able to see. So when you're on there, do they have that little thing where people are chatting live and? Yes. Yeah, and yeah. let me tell you, most of the, I I I put it up on my TV, so I wasn't really seeing the chat. Right. Um, but the chats to me are the funnest part because everybody's trying to be funny or be a. Yeah, d- yeah. but yeah. It, yeah. it seemed to me like this time there was a lot of like casual, casual fans. Like, did not know anything about lucha. Did not know about any. I mean, they were psycho clown. Right, if you're gonna right. cycle clown, you know right. that's like the casual of the casual. Oh, know, well, right. wait, we talk about triple mania. Yeah, all right, we gotta talk about this. So the, the, I, I, all right, Who, what's the deal with this? It's two things. Number one, the Spider-Man gimmick thing. When he's doing what? What happened there? Where, okay, where let me see. Let me see. Right. There's a guy dressed up as Spider-Man, and he repels to the ring. What's there yeah, to but explain? It obviously, it obviously was not done it smoothly. Would be the, the the word I want to use. What 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 went wrong? It looked all right to me. It looked slow, maybe. I don't know, but it looked all right it's to slow. me. What did, it looked, yeah. <laughs> here's how here's how ridiculous it looked, okay? The camera is he's supposed to like obviously just you catch he's repel, just straight down like Spider Man. Right. And he kept getting stuck and stuck. But the funniest thing about it was I don't think he was getting stuck. I think well, I don't know. It obviously I mean, looked like he was getting stuck because yeah. the cameraman who was trying to shoot the the gradual Drop it like like in in, in in syncopation. Kept like the guy kept shooting off the screen because the camera would shoot ahead of the guy. The guy would stop like he had like he put the brakes on. Yeah. It looked ridiculous. Did you see I, that, Kevin? Everybody I saw actually, that. I saw. Well, that. I, I that was the very very beginning of the show, and I was right. still trying to get all my stuff set up, so I did not see that. I would. I'm going to tell you the truth. It was all over. T- I was okay. Stop wait a minute, Klein Rock. Wait, did you one, see it on Twitter? Yes or no? No, I'm saying, I I didn't see the full. All I right. Saw, like, wait. Right. Clip. Okay. Wait. Wait one second. Wait one second. Wait one second. When I was watching that, I was also doing a lot of things at the same yeah, time. Because I'm at the way. Okay, wait one second. All right. If it didn't look good, then it didn't look good, and I'll see Yo, it, and I'll and I'll hold, say you're right. Pull my retweet. Pull, pull my quote tweet up. Yeah. And we'll, let's show Cody. Okay. No, no. Know. Why don't you? Pull, why don't you show? Why don't you, why don't you show it? I don't care what I'm you going, said. I want to see what, how it looked we'll pull like. Pull it up. It's, it's the clip of the thing. You get good. All right. While JoJo pulling that up. Yeah. Okay, number two. Number two. Uh-oh. Right. Okay. You're you're doing the Marvel characters. What was the? What was the deal with the Hulk outfit? What do you mean? That what did was not look like Hulk. It's not supposed to be Hulk. It's, a, it's supposed to be Dude, inspired. So it's this, supposed like to be in, the, supposed to be inspired right. by Hulk. Like, like he's inspired by so, Hulk. So he's not Hulk. Okay, he's not the Mexican version of Hulk. He's inspired by Hulk. Because we're not we're not hearing about any of this in English. Like anybody's telling us is explain right. exactly. Because there was no English is. commentary. I thought, I thought we had talked about that. This was going to be we're just taking Spider Man, taking Hulk, and just we're. We're taking the characters and putting them on the show, but instead we're no. just taking characters that are inspired by. Spider- right. Oh, okay. So because yeah, right. I thought because now now it's because this looked like if you didn't if you didn't know that. Right. This looked like the Mexican costume. version of it. Right. <laughs> right. 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 Yeah. Okay. So, so now that we're right. Yeah, and that's what happens. We don't have English commentary, but all right. the Spanish people, Hugo already knows that, and right. so does the other guy, and they've explained it to them. Right. So basically, they're inspired by them. And the great thing about this is, is like and I think I told you this the last time, bro. Marvel goes through everything like a fine tooth comb, like when every week there's meetings with like six different guys and like they didn't like how one outfit looks. So they took it out of triple mania. I mean, any little thing. And so basically, here's the cool thing that once this become comes to fruition, because at the end, they're going to have 20 characters and they're all going to go for this belt. Um, uh, um, what did I want to tell you? Oh, anybody from the Marvel Universe could show up in their universe and vice versa in, in digitally anything. And that's pretty cool. Well, and, and that's- you know, like you could I'm not saying this is going to happen, but you could see that Mexican version of Hulk in an Avengers movie or something like okay. they're now part of that world. Yeah. Okay. And that's that's one of the things I wanted that I want. Well, two questions I had there. Yeah, because I I remember seeing something. I think it was like with some of the merchandise, uh, the plushes or something, where they had bios on the on the. And so yeah, it's not uh, like um, Peter Parker, Spider Man, but Mexican. It's like there is a 
person, a, an original character that was created, and he is the person inside this mask who happens to be this luchador version of it. So it's not supposed to be Mexican Peter Parker. It's this. It's all these right. luchadors that are right. based on these these characters. Now, uh, obviously, uh, Triple Mania opens. Let me let me real quick. Let's look at this repel thing. Go ahead. You, you know what? It, this is what it looks like. It looks like the guy is too heavy for the rope. That the way it was calibrated, and it's not. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. the rope is I, I is, for, is, is, is creating too much of a dip. Too much of a dip in the cable where he ha- he's going like uphill kind of when, when he's you know, you understand what I'm saying? A little bit. Yeah, because like he's going like uphill instead of like just just in a straight Ooh. line. Like like he's a little bit too heavy and there's too much sag in the rope, which is why it's hard for it to, to go down smoothly. Yeah. Yeah. That wasn't the smoothest of entrances, that's right. for damn sure. That's yeah. what I was saying. Uh so Triple Mania opened with that match before right. we even had like the Triple Mania cold open. So right. is that kind of what we should expect moving forward as well as that, you know, it's, right. it's a separate universe, just like kind of Lucha Underground was a separate universe from Triple A, even though the same people were. Right. And you'll see and you'll see that happen because one of the things that I told them, because they'll always ask every week, well, what do you think do you know, we need to do to, you know, for it to look better? And like one of the things that I had brought up, which. Uh, there's nothing I can do about this is like the the logo doesn't say Marvel. It says the sponsor that Triple A is. And I go, you, it should say Marvel. It should say Marvel all around the thing. But due to the sponsorship and TV rights, that has to be there. So we're trying to figure that out. So every show we're trying to, you know, get out the edges and smooth it out because this is a hybrid. It's never been done before. They definitely don't know what they're doing, you know, wrestling wise, you know. And so it, but it's little by little it's coming together. Yeah, you'll see it look more and more Marvel. Like, they never had somebody repel. They never had nobody go through the wall. You know what I'm saying? So just little things they just keep adding. Uh, so you said 20 characters overall? Right. Cool. Um, it, rather than go kind of match by match through Triple Mania, uh, what were some of your highlights for the night? Uh, it was- you, I guess let's start with one of them. Okay, just so you understand, I'm not sitting there watching the match like a fan. Yeah. I'm running around backstage filming, <laughs> writing, <laughs> putting out fires, looking at the show, getting ready to do my. <laughs> so it's hard for me to really, you know what I'm saying, even tell you what the <laughs> show looked like because I'm going crazy at that moment. Yo, what That's up? A- this is Conan, and I host Keeping It 100, my co host, Disco Inferno, unfortunately. Well, I'd say you're my co host. Listen, every Thursday here on Spreaker, we talk pro wrestling, sports, movies, music, TV, pop culture, and some politics. It's everything the rest of the pro wrestling podcasts are not. Tune in to hear myself, the superior one, educate and inform. Tune in to hear me bury disco. That's very disrespectful. Join us every Thursday on Spreaker and keep it 100. Boom!